Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to take a look at how to distribute objects equally inside Adobe Illustrator. I'm Kent and this is Diagraphics. So distribute objects basically means to put an equal amount of distance between some objects, whether it be from center to center or from bottom to bottom as in this case. So the first thing we want to do when we want to distribute objects is go to window and open up the align panel. This will give us the align panel down in the corner. And today I will only cover distribute objects and distribute spacing. I already have a video on align objects and I will leave a link down in the description if you want to watch that. So when we want to distribute objects, we have three different ways to do this. So as you can see, we have align to selection, align to key object and align to artboard. And even though it says align to, we can also use this to distribute. So for the first part of the video, we will choose align to selection. So align to selection means that the objects will be distributed relative to the selection. So now let's select the objects. And because we chose align to selection, the objects will be distributed between the two objects furthest away from each other. Because the two objects furthest from each other will always be the objects on the edge of the bounding box right here. This means that with this selected, the shapes will always be distributed relative to these two objects. So now with the object selected, let's take a look at what the different options do. So down here we have vertical distribute top. So let's click this button. This is adjusting the objects so that's the same distance between the tops of the objects. This means from this top to this top and from this top to this top. If we move this ruler right here, we can get a sense of it. As you see, same distance from here to here as from here to here. So now let's go to vertical distribute center. So go down to this button right here. Now there's no longer the same distance from top to top, but now there's the same distance from the center to the center. And because these shapes are not the same size, this distance will not be the same. So if we move the ruler, now you see that's the same distance from center to center to center. And of course, the same thing goes from the last option. This is only vertical distribute bottom, which is the opposite of top. And of course, the horizontal distributing is the exact same thing, just for horizontal shapes. So this was the very basic distributing. Now let's move on to something a little more advanced. So now let's select the shapes again and go down to align to key object. This will give us way more control as we can now specify the exact distance that we want in this input field right here. I have chosen 200 pixels as the distance. Another option that we get from align to key object is to select the key object. Right now this object is selected, but you can just click on whatever object that you want. The object you select as the key object will not move when you click the distribute button. This means that the other objects will be distributed relative to the key object. So now let's click vertical distribute top. And as you can see, the key object stays in place. And now there's exactly 200 pixels from this top to this top and from this top to this top. And if you click vertical distribute center, there's now exactly 200 pixels from the center to center as from center to center. And of course, vertical distribute button will do the same just for the bottom. And horizontal distribute is the same thing just for horizontal aligned objects like this. So now what if you want the spacing between the objects to be an exact distance? Let's move on. So now to specify the spacing between the objects, instead of using the distribute objects, we want to use distribute spacing instead. So let's keep the 200 pixels and now click vertical distribute space. This will give us exactly 200 pixels of spacing between the objects. And because this object was chosen as a key object, this one stayed in place and the other shapes were adjusted relative to the key object. So now let's choose align to artboard. This mode will distribute everything relative to the artboard. And now let's click vertical distribute top. As you can see, it pushes the objects furthest away from each other to the edges of the artboard and then distributing all the shapes relative to the artboard. So now the objects are distributed from edge to edge and with the same distance from top to top to top to top. If you want to learn how to align objects, click on the video on the end card right now.